every model will be open source. You might just not know it yet. I think like in the long run, everything is going to kind of go towards open source. And I think you guys were a big reason, if not the main reason why that's happening, because you know you put, put that out there and you put that in the forefront and pushed for it. That was Ali Godsey, CEO of Databricks, sitting next to Mark Zuckerberg at Meta's flagship event LlamaCon 2025. And he was firing a real shot at the AI model wars. Because while Meta is handing you full stack AI freedom with Llama 4, OpenAI is now being forced to open source too. And you know, while Meta proposed open sourcing Llama, people screamed, right? They're, they're saying it's unsafe. They said hackers will use it. And you know, open source can't keep up. But Meta ignored all the noise because at its core, Meta was always built on open source from React to PyTorch to now Llama. And in just 24 months, this reckless decision has shaped the AI world. You know, 1.2 billion downloads and 10,000 plus derivative models, even a Llama model is running offline at the International Space Station. So Llama 4 is built for developers, researchers, startups, governments, basically anyone who wants to build their own AI in their own way. And you know, back home in India, Sarvam is also using it to make AI accessible to millions of users in the country. But what's inside Llama 4's revolution? First, it comes with a mixture of experts' architecture. Simply put, it contributes towards a blazing fast inference. And it's also multilingual, supports over 200 languages, and it's multimodal from the ground up, meaning it has been trained natively on images. Plus, it has a massive context window, so big that it fits the entire code base of the US tax code. And it's also distilled from the Bohemoth model, which is a massive feature model. And talking about the smaller Llama Scout model, it runs on a single H100 NVIDIA GPU, which makes it incredibly efficient, right? And powering Meta AI for over a billion users means that it's also present on WhatsApp, Instagram, and also on the Ray-Ban's AR headset. And Meta didn't just stop at their models. We also launched a Llama API with full fine tuning, custom evaluations, and basically there's no lock-in. You can download and deploy anywhere. So essentially, this is a modular, sovereign, and an enterprise grade AI in your hands. And what about OpenAI? They're opening up too. Yep, that's right. So the company that once shut doors to open source models after the GPT-2, is finally going open source again. And this is after years of closed APIs, secretive models, and paywalls behind GPT-4 and GPT-4.0. And they're now fully preparing to release an open weight LLM. You know, one that you can run locally, modify, fine tune, and deploy for national security, healthcare, or any sort of application. But why are they doing this? Because open source rivals Llama, DeepSeek, Mistral, Quen are moving much faster, right? And developers are demanding more control. Governments want more sovereignty and security and research needs more transparency and auditability. So OpenAI isn't just doing this to be generous. And you know, many believe that they're doing it because Meta changed the rules, essentially from competition to convergence. It's fair to say that Meta isn't just competing with OpenAI, they're forcing them to play the same game. And Zuckerberg said it clearly. Every time we drop a Llama release, the others drop their API prices. So essentially, real-world wins are already happening with Llama models. As mentioned earlier, NASA runs Llama in space to guide astronauts without Earth-like latency. And AT&T analyzes customer transcripts in real-time for issue triage. Box plus IBM are deploying secure and private agents using Meta's Llama. And Kava custom fine-tuned Llama for multilingual support in Latin America, and Middle East and Northern Africa are already being developed. So Meta didn't just win the mindshare, now they're winning the deployment share. And the next inference lies in voice plus vision. You know, Llama 4 powers Meta's standalone AI app where conversations are real-time, voice is expressive, prompts, art and ideas are shared socially, and assistants remember your kids' names and hobbies. And you can wear it literally on your Ray-Ban glasses. So OpenAI might still dominate in closed user experience, but Meta is building the AI lifestyle layer. Essentially, Meta is just focusing on letting users own their AI, letting them deploy models where they want, controlling your entire stack, your data, and essentially your future. And in the end, Meta's Llama made it all possible. And now OpenAI is just following. Just like how Linux reshaped operating systems, you know, so next time someone asks who's winning the AI war, tell them this. It's not about who's bigger, but it's about who gives you more control. And in 2025, that answer might just be Meta. This is Front Page by AIM. Let us know in the comments, is Meta democratizing AI or quietly taking control through open tools? For more stories like this, subscribe to AIM TV. Because think AI, think AIM.